one of the most important criteria is to have personal contact with the potential uh, customer, the distributor that's looking for sources of uh, product and this trade show that they offer. That's you know that's a place to display your products and and uh, meet the people and uh, determine the type, the type of interest they have. We attend trade shows domestically uh, to talk to the end user, but we also um, establish relationships with our distributors. And Mike, uh, as vice president of sales, has done a very good job um, building relationships. When we go internationally, uh, the, the shows that he will attend, like Medica in, in Dusseldorf, Germany, he's speaking uh, exclusively to distributors. And it's those relationships that he um, uh, builds uh, from those meetings uh, is where uh, you know we really establish um, our exporting plan I, I would consider trade shows a bare minimum like you absolutely that's one of the fundamentals that you have to hit and initially it looked expensive and that's where the state of Pennsylvania came in and said uh, uh, we'll we'll travel with you or we'll fund you or in Medica the state of Pennsylvania has their own booth so Financially, it was a lot easier to, to make that initial decision. Once we attended a few, it was clearly the, the, the cost was minimal compared to the return. And another unexpected result of, of attending international trade shows is our domestic uh, partners and dealers looked at us with a lot more respect. Uh, they saw us with our own booth internationally and, and thought to themselves, you know, you guys are bigger than we are. Uh, you know, t please tell us what you know. And that just brought us up to a level uh, uh, that uh, we hadn't really anticipated. So thanks, Pennsylvania, for having presence at trade shows. Mm -hmm.